what does Kobe do better than Michael? He's a better like Kobe says he sees some of himself which means that it's kind of descended from Michael Jordan. Well, there will be some Kobe Bryant footages. So do you have any favorite Kobe MJ memory? Maybe like their all-star matchup? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't see those personally. It's, yeah, I never covered one of their all-star games. Just how Kobe, you know, the one time I heard him compare himself to Michael, you know, we made those comparisons all the time. He didn't like to do it that much. But one time, you know, he said, him and Michael are two guys that, that did it by scoring. And, you know, that was the way, and that's not the way Magic played, that's not the way LeBron plays, you know, but Kobe and Michael were here to score first and foremost, and they had similar ways of leadership, you know, that they were going to get into guys and insist that they compete at the same level they did, which was really impossible. That's a tough ask because, you know, you could argue that those were the two most competitive people in the NBA. Nobody had that cutthroat competitive nature on the level that Kobe and Michael did. And I think that's why they became good friends was that Michael saw a lot of himself in Kobe. Of the guys that came after him, I think Michael saw more reflection of himself in Kobe than anyone else. So many people think Michael Jordan maybe is the GOAT, but I want to know in your perspective, what does Kobe do better than Michael? He's a better bad shot maker. If I had 10 seconds left and I'm down by one point and I can drop a play and have Michael dribble and get to the spot he wants to, I'm gonna take Michael Jordan. If I have like 1.3 seconds left and there's just enough time to just get the ball and you know throw it up at the basket, um, I'm taking Kobe Bryant you know, for that shot. I think he's the best bad shot maker of all time. You know, Sometimes a bad shot is dictated by the time on the clock. There's not enough time to get a good shot. If there's time to get a shot, Michael Jordan will find a way to get the best possible shot within that time. If there's really no time to create anything, you just have to go get it, turn and fire. I'm taking Kobe Bryant over that. He was, he's the best bad shot maker of all time. So in terms of personality, do you feel like Kobe and Michael are the same type of player? Different. Michael was a little more accessible for more of his career. Kobe, Kobe got it at the end, like his last years were really fun and more enjoyable to talk to him. Actually, early on, he was more enjoyable to talk to. Kind of the middle part, he um, his default mode was to just kind of give these ho hum answers. You know, he could break out of that when he wanted to, um, but like he really wasn't that interesting from like 2000 to 2002 or three. Um, you know, as, as he started getting a little more confident and feeling himself, you know, he became a little more outspoken. Oh three, oh four. Um, and then when it was his team, you know, it was his team. But it just, it wasn't as enjoyable to talk to him until the last couple of years when he just kind of, the pressure was off. He didn't have to put up a facade and he could just kind of tell stories, you know, because at that point he'd been in the league so long. So he had all these stories. And he turned into the bitter old man a little bit too. That was a little fun. You know, he was just railing about the fashion choices of the younger players, for example. You know, I, I like that version of Kobe better. So one last question, maybe a little bit tricky. So do you think who's the closest active player in the league to Michael Jordan? You know, the league is so different now. The only way for younger people to relate to Michael was, you know, say he was a better version of Kobe Bryant, you know, but like Kobe was the most similar thing that we've seen in a while. And so just in terms of the, of the competition and the way he shows up every night at Russell Westbrook, like Kobe says he sees some of himself in Russell Westbrook, which means that it's kind of descended from Michael Jordan, you know, like, Kobe took a lot from Jordan. I think Westbrook took a lot from Kobe. Um, you know, it's been passed on. But, you know, Westbrook's style, Westbrook beats you with energy and intensity and all that, whereas Michael and Kobe could just as easily beat you with patience and understanding the game. You know, and those, those aren't hallmarks of Russell Westbrook's game. So in that regard, he doesn't remind me of Michael. Um, you know, the, the energy and the willpower is similar, but just the style of game is, is so completely different. You know, the Jordan era has, has gone away in a lot of ways, just in terms of the way the game is played now is so different from Michael. You just don't see the influence. You, you don't see as many players coming into the league wearing number 23, for example. People are very independent now. A lot of single digit number of guys, um, you know, just kind of different number combinations. I mean, Kobe tried to, become Michael and beyond, and that was too much to ask for anybody. You know, I think LeBron has become a super version of Magic Johnson. You know, 
know, I see more Magic Johnson in LeBron James' game than I see Michael Jordan. You know, and he's been able to combine that with, you know, the athleticism that Magic didn't have. You know, I think we can see people trying to be LeBron's, but how many people have the physique of LeBron James? You know, he's just a really unique athlete. So big, can move so fast, so intelligent. You know, you're going to be hard pressed to find that combination with some other guys coming up.